The Story of Tantalus Once upon a time, there was a man named Tantalus, a regular mortal man, or so he thought. Oh my gosh, an, an Evite to Olympus? Bye bye bye. Who's Zeus? Oh, I know who Zeus is. Uh, Zeus is Zeus is my father. I'm awesome now. I'm a demigod. I'm better than everyone. I'm so much better than you all. Did you hear that? I'm better than you. Okay. I'm better than her. She doesn't know it yet. Oh. Ah, I wonder when my daughter Tantalus will be arriving. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. She's probably as fantastic as I am. Oh, Tantalus, my daughter. Oh, welcome to Olympia. How are you liking Olympus? It's amazing. The innovation, new and old combined, is genius. I've never well, seen anything I like I mean, it. the amphitheater is a perfect example of that. That is all Athena's handiwork. Do you see this fountain? Yeah. Can I touch it? No. That is my bath water, and it is in honor of me. Only I can touch it without burning to a crisp. See? No. No! <laughs> no. These, these, this tree, this is in commemory of the first olive tree that Athena created. Can I touch it? For the people of Athens. No! For the people of Athens. No! Of Athens. Poseidon helped create my beautiful masterpiece. And, no! <laughs> Demeter, Demeter helped make this so beautiful. And no, don't touch it. Now, stay here. Do not move. I will come get you when the piece is ready. I must prepare the piece. So stay. Don't move. If you need something, the harpies will probably not eat you. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. That is my tree. But I, I am Demeter. No, I, I'm just caring for it. See? I love it. It's I my, don't believe it's my you. Friend. <laughs> it's my friend. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I am the tree. I am no longer a sentient being. Nothing but a trail of destruction in my way. It is I, Tantalus, god of slight chaos. You're that daughter of yours. You need to handle her. Look at her chess pieces. They're ruined. My ring's missing, Aphrodite's ring's missing, and Athena's iPad with all the architecture designs are missing. Explain. <sighs> How do you know it was Tantalus? Well, stuff hasn't been missing until she came. <sighs> that is true. Well, I will talk to her, but I am giving her another chance. Huh, I just got an invitation to Tantalus' house for dinner. Oh, well, I suppose I didn't invite him to Olympus in the first place. Should be interesting. Are you going? Nah, I wasn't thinking of going. But I'll go now, because you obviously want me to go. Tantalus, do you remember the meal I told you about in Olympus? Yes. What does that have to do with me? Well. I have to tell you that, I, do you, you want to know what the main course is? What? It's going to be you. What? Yes. Why, why me? Yeah. Why me? No, 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 What kind of meat is that? Looks pretty good to me. Ugh, oh, Tantalus is serving it. I wonder... Nope, let's just eat. I'm really starving. Alright. Pelpos! 
That's Pelpos. Oh. He cooked him. What? Did you think you could get away with fooling the gods of Olympus? Well, you left your computer unlocked. You're an idiot. You will be punished for all of eternity for your trespassing. I'm so hungry. It's not even good food. I'd rather have chips. I want food. I'm so hungry. Hey, sorry about that. I accidentally ate your shoulder. Belfos, your father was an awful human being. He's, well, he's in Tartarus, and he'll, he'll not be back for a long while. Probably ever, actually. All of the gods of Olympus have gathered together and raised you up from the dead and fixed your arm. Ship it back to new in two to eight weeks. What? Hey, you're alive, and it wasn't our fault you died. The end. Basically, there was a guy named Tantalus. He thought he was immortal, but then got invited to Olympus by his father, Zeus. Well, hold up. Yes, he is a demigod. Not immortal. Basically, he was a really awful guy and stole a whole bunch of things, but despite all of this, Zeus still allowed him to come to Olympus. Again. Not sure why, since Zeus is known as being kind of a crazy guy. So, Tantalus invited all of the Olympians to dinner at his house, like on Earth and not in Olympus, and instead of serving, I don't know, mutton chops, he decided to murder his son Pelops and serve it to the gods. Well, Demeter ate his shoulder, and none of the rest of him was eaten. After realizing that she had eaten Tantalus' son, and that Tantalus had killed his son, and served it to them for dinner, the Olympians realized how, what a horrible man Tantalus was, and realized that, that this was the last straw, banished him to Tartarus, where they placed a olive tree above his head and a lake at his feet and though he was hungry and thirsty for all eternity could not reach either so after doing that they resurrected Pelops, Tantalus' son and gave him an arm because well Demeter had eaten it so in the end Tantalus was put into Tartarus Pelops was alive and with an ivory arm and well basically everybody lived happy ever after